guys welcome back to the vlog i'm currently getting ready and i stopped getting ready to go get my uh, coffee that was outside i got phil's coffee i haven't had phil's coffee and i don't even know how long i got a mint mojito which i think is the best drink i don't even know what it is if i'm being honest but i got that and i got a bagel and i love that they put it in this super cute little box First of all, it's been so cold here, and I personally cannot stand the cold. Unfortunately, my house doesn't have a working heater. It broke last winter. We haven't gotten it fixed. I'm freezing, so um, that's been lovely. Okay, also, we got a new camera. No one's really left any comments about it, so I'm not sure if you guys love it or hate it. Some people ask me to do like a review on this camera. The Sony... Uh, ZV-1F camera. I decided to get a new one because you guys saw that Canon G7X was completely destroyed and apparently that's like a common thing that happens to that camera. I decided to get a different camera. Um, this one's a little bit cheaper than the other one. It does come in two different colors which I really liked. I'm kind of just bored of like the black camera and so I was able to get a white one in this new camera and I also have a pink case on it and I love it. I think it's so cute. There's two major issues that I realized when I was at Disney. First thing is the zoom sucks. It does not zoom in like at all. Like it was so hard to like get firework shots. Um, when we were watching the Black Widow show like it was so bad. Other thing, when I was editing, I realized that anytime I filmed at night, video was just kind of grainy. I don't know if you guys noticed it in that Disneyland vlog. It just like wasn't as smooth and I felt like my other camera was just, it was good lighting no matter what time of day I was filming, which is why I loved it so much. Those are like the two big annoying things about the camera. Besides that, I think it's great. The sound is great. I feel like the quality is nice. I feel like I get a wider angle as well when I'm filming with this camera, which is also nice. Really considering returning this one and getting my old camera again. And let me know what you guys think. Like, did you guys notice those two things in the vlog? Because if not, I can just keep this one. Last thing that I really want to talk to you guys about before we get into other things in this vlog, what you want to see for Vlogmas. I did do like a little question box on Instagram, and so I have the responses from Instagram, but I'm sure some of you that subscribe to me here don't follow me there, and the Vlogmas is for this channel. So if there are any specific requests that you want for Vlogmas this year, please let me know. Additionally, you film vlogs every single day in the month of December leading up to Christmas. I do it a little bit differently. I do pre-film a lot of videos. So for example, if you want to see like, I saw a request for a lounge light collection video, a sweatshirt collection video, like those kinds of like sit down videos, I pre-film them in the month of November to kind of give me a head start. Reason being, um, I work, you guys know I'm a teacher and I just don't want to promise daily vlogs like I just don't think that's gonna be realistic for me to be able to do that I like to switch off every single day so you'll get one daily vlog one sit down video I'm excited for vlogmas and I hope you guys are excited too it's gonna be so much fun lip liner go and do my hair oh, a little crazy right now <laughs> I have been getting a lot a lot of questions on my hair let me go and take you guys over there. I went to Disney I wore it straight and so I feel like people are able to like see the color a little bit more when I wear it like this. And it, usually I like curl it, you know, like those big curls. You can't really see the color because you see like what's underneath, you know, where it's like darker. I thought I dyed my hair again, but I did not. Um, it was just styled differently. I did my hair curly all week, but I think I'm going to straighten it today. There's no saving the curls at this point, you know. My hair straightener broke. I don't even know if I've told you guys that. Like I literally feel like I haven't updated you guys on anything in my life. And it's so sad because I love telling you guys everything you need to know. So I went to Target to try and find another one and they didn't really have many options and I needed one before my trip. I ended up getting this Avlon, I don't know what this is, blow dry brush. I've been using it and I think it's great, honestly. I do still think I need a straightener though. This house is so cold like I can't. Do it. what the 
my hair looks like after blow drying it. I definitely need a straightener, so I think I'm gonna use my grandma's. Don't tell her. She's definitely not watching this, so <laughs> we're fine. This is heating up. I want to tell you guys the strike ended today, which is so so excited if you guys didn't know the actors writers went on strike earlier this year writers finally got an agreement but then it was still the actors that were on strike and this morning the actors are no longer on strike which is so great i'm so happy for them um the way that they were able to literally not work for months is wild and I'm so proud of them for really sticking it through. I personally did not want to support films that were released this year or struck companies and that included Disney. So I had to stop talking about like Little Mermaid. I stopped talking about Barbie. No, I didn't go to the Honda Mansion premiere, um, which was this summer. Now, I'm so happy because Wish is the new Disney movie that is coming out this month and I am so so excited for it to come out and I'm so happy that it's out so we can actually talk about it. Disney announced today that Inside Out 2 is coming in 2024 and they dropped a trailer today so I kind of want to watch it with you guys. I think it'll be fun to like get my reaction. I haven't seen it yet um, because I love Inside Out so much. It's my Inside Out trailer. Here we go. Oh, she's a teenager now, you guys. Okay, let's clear it all out. I know it's about to go down in the brain. She's 13 now, so she's entering her teenage era. And you just know, when you are a teenage girl, the emotions are wild. Too much is going on up here. They just introduced a new emotion and it's anxiety. Stop. I love this. Why does anxiety look like this? Like, if I were to imagine what anxiety would look like, it is literally this character. I, that is so funny. Sorry, we wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, what do you mean, we? <laughs> okay, wait, they said we, so I wonder what other emotions are gonna be in there. I'm trying to think. Okay, I want you guys to guess in the comments what other emotions do you think are going to be added in this film? I am so excited. I, every little detail at Inside Out was just so well thought out. I'm really excited to see what this next one is, and I can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be so, so good. <laughs> better not as frizzy i love it uh, now we're gonna go and tackle this these shelves okay. a fun video to film but i hate the mess that that happens after i do this but it's okay it's gonna be so much fun i actually did get a package i know i feel like i keep prolonging this video but I did get a package today, you guys, um, and it's something that I purchased. I need to make my bed, so maybe we should 
do that at some point. That would be that would be good for me. I normally don't fall for Instagram ads. And by ads, I mean not like when influencers talk about something. I feel like I always fall for when influencers talk about something cute. But when it's like an Instagram ad, like something that Instagram is just pushing through like their algorithm because they think I'm going to like it. I never usually fall for those. There's just always, I feel like they never really get it right. They got it right this time. I saw these slippers on an Instagram ad and you guys, they are so cute. First of all, they're from Altered State, which I don't think I've ever ordered anything from them before. The box is so cute. A little Christmas tree. Like how cute is that? I saw it on my doorstep and I was like, who sent me a Christmas present? I'm like, oh, I bought it for myself. Little box, the box, like, they really got me. These are so stinking cute. I will link them for you guys if you guys want to match. These are so cute. I'm so excited to have some new slippers. And I wasn't sure what size to get because they only had, they didn't really have a size guide. Um, it just said small, medium, large. I wrote a little message. Wait, this is so cute, you guys. Packed with love from, I think it says Rihanna. I don't think it's Miss Robin Fenty, but you know, how cute. These are so cozy. So it feels like I actually got a gift. Wow, that is so cute. They, they got me. Like cream with pink bows, which is like giving Marie. And the inside is like fuzzy and pink. It's so cute, I love them. Time you guys, we're gonna decorate the shelves for Christmas season, I am so ready. Also, I got this for my birthday at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. Um, it was like $9 if you guys want to get one for your birthday. But I saw it in the store and I was like, it's so cute. Pest member, like she kind of did this little like flower thing. I don't know how she did it, but it was really cute. Um, that way it can like fit me perfectly, but isn't that so cute? Anyways, I hung that up there because I just really love it. Anyways, I had to switch my sweater. Could be, oh, what, the bang? Excuse me. <laughs> switch out my sweater so I can be in the Christmas spirit. I got this at Disney recently and I'm obsessed. Don't stop Disney. Let's, let's pull out the bags because that's, scary surely have a red sequin lounge fly which poor backpack has been beat up okay red sequin lounge fly and to make a lounge fly i'm realizing i don't have that many christmas lounge flies i have this one which is also super cute I think i've gotten rid of like the rest of them <gasps> you guys I must have sold a bunch of bags without even thinking like hey i might need this for my christmas shelves <laughs> So we're gonna try and make it work with what we have. I wanna keep this one up here. I feel like this is like a really like classic like winter bag. Like I think move the fall backpack. We don't need her anymore. I have to remove all of these little decor pieces. Okay. Making sure we like over here in place of ghost mickey and then i can put christmas ears here so i'll remove i'll do the ears later this darth vader lounge fly i think i'm gonna keep the neutral shelf um i'm just gonna get rid of the candles and pumpkins get rid of haunted mansion we're gonna do this one and put this one at the bottom for uh, this side get rid of ghost mickey i think i'm gonna keep this one the white one um and then i'm gonna put this green one maybe like this okay i'm gonna get rid of pumpkin mickey do pink because i have a lot of pink um ears that'll look better here get rid of pumpkin and this one I think that's cute i think i'm gonna try and hunt down the fuzzy lounge fly from a couple years ago like i said i was gonna do it and then i never really bought it so i'm gonna try and hunt that down and i think i'm gonna try and I feel like it'll look cute on the shelves. Part of me is like, I should have bought that plaid one that I saw in the parks, but I didn't get it. 
when I probably should have. Because it would have looked cute on the shelves. <laughs> I guess I need to figure out what the bottom two shelves are. I'm not super concerned about it right now just because no one really sees the bottom half of the shelf. So like if it looks bad, it's okay. I'm gonna stop thinking about it. I'm gonna start doing the ears. I'm gonna show you guys the snowman ears. I cut off the little, um, what is it called? What are these called? Scarves. I cut the scarves off and I think they look so much cuter. Aren't they so cute? I love it. Okay, the one thing I am gonna say though, I feel like the headband on these is smaller than usual. I don't know, like it kind of reminds me of Tokyo Disney ears because Tokyo Disney ears do feel smaller on my head. I'm going to take out all of these. Oh, okay. Do all of the pink ones and kind of put them here. These. black and white ears. I have these. Um, I just got these this year. Super cute. They still have the tag on them. We have these from last year. And my new snowman ones, which works, but I don't know what else I can put here. I also have like these ears, but I don't know if these are really gonna match because they're like gray. My friend Reyna bought these off of me, but I haven't seen her and she also has ears for me, <laughs> but we haven't seen each other. So I'm just gonna put them on the shelves until I give them to her. This is okay. It's not the best, but it works. I also added this little Santa mug. Also have this little pink Christmas tree ornament that I got from Target last year. I'm gonna put it on the other side. I think this looks cute. Um, oh, I also have my reindeer Winnie the Pooh Nuimos. Outfit is from Tokyo Disney, but I'm gonna put him maybe up here since I don't have why is he holding a bobby pin? That is so funny. Um, I'm gonna put them up here. I don't, wait, I have these. These are winter. I can put these over here. I have this Shelly Mae keychain. I can put her. Gingerbread and Mickey ears. They were on the bed. Here's his hat, I don't know. I also have a Minnie Mouse. Nuimos outfit for Mrs. Claus. But I don't know where I put her either. I think the shelves, I'm gonna stop working on them for the day. I feel like they definitely need some work because I realized I got rid of a lot of stuff, like a lot of ears, lots of uh, bags specifically. So um, a lot of them are still the fall bags. And I'm gonna try and get to that pink one so hopefully that comes in but i'll show you what i have and then like throughout the other vlogs like i'll update you guys on what the shelves are looking like I kept it really simple white and green and our little shelly keychain did the pink shelf which i think i would put the pink christmas one here Not sure if they really match together so maybe i could switch it out i don't know but we have this pink one. This was from Disney last year, I think. My little Christmas ornament. We have another empty shelf. We need another bag to put there, you guys. I don't know, maybe like the pink fuzzy one will look cute there actually because they're both fuzzy. Here we have this red shelf, which I think is cute with our little Santa mug. I have ears that don't really match when we get to like this side. Like I wish it was just like this. So we need to like figure this out a little bit better. We have Santa Mickey, Santa Mickey again down here. This is the same shelf that we had before. So I need to like add something there to kind of just finalize that one. And then here we have the denim one. Part of me is like, do I order that plaid lounge fly? I literally saw it in the parks and I didn't get it because I didn't feel like I needed it. But now I'm like, 
I need it for my shelves. <laughs> I don't know. It's a couple of days later and I wanted to show you guys what I've been completely obsessed with. Um, I have been playing my Nintendo Switch again. I've been playing Harry Potter Lego in particular. Like I used to play Animal Crossing like during COVID. And I play like the Bratz game. But Harry Potter Lego is probably my favorite game I've ever played. I just finished one series like one through four and now i'm on the fifth one literally so obsessed i want to show you guys my little headphones that my boyfriend got me for my birthday they're like little hello kitty ones and it says hello kitty and friends and then at the bottom it has like the little characters they're so so cute i'm obsessed with wearing these and i honestly use them for more than just my game like i use them for my laptop my phone whatever so i'm obsessed with these i just had to share with you guys but that is it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys